Hi there, my name is Quentin Brown from QR Codes Australia and today I'm just going to show you quickly how you can set up a contactless sign in for your restaurant, for your shops etc just using Google Forms and a free QR code. Now if you don't have a lot of visitors this will be more than enough for the government so that if they request the information you can easily just send them a spreadsheet. Basically we're just going to use Google Forms so we just go to Google Forms and I've set mine up here so let me just show you what I've done. So basically you just download a form and include the bits and pieces that you want. I added a header to mine and then I get a link from that. So then when we get the responses they come up in the back end here and then we can also just click on this little link here and it will put it in a spreadsheet for us. So here's the spreadsheet. It timestamps it, first last name, email address, suburb, phone number, and then if you want others with you. Okay, so that was response. So here are our questions. And to add, you just click on this little icon here. To change anything, you just click in the form and you will get a bunch of things you can do. So you can change the answer if you want and use checkboxes etc. You can make it required or not and then you can just duplicate it if you want to. So if we go back to our forms home you can actually just use this blank one here just use contact form because it already has it pretty well set up for you. So in here if you want to change the graphic and then you've also got this where you can collect email addresses, limit to one response. I would not limit it to one response because lots of your visitors hopefully will come back again and have to sign up. You can also choose the option so you can choose a progress bar etc. And you can also do a few little quizzes. This allows you to change the text, add a graphic. We can also go in here and customize the theme. If we want to add a header here, we just upload that image again. Or you can use one of the pre-designed ones. And we'll go insert. Uh, you can add your own. You can also change the color of the form. Change the background. I like to put in that blue background. You can change the font style etc. So once you've done that it's just a matter of then creating a URL. Give it a name. You can give it a short description if you want. You can put in a disclaimer there. Now that we've got that, so I'll use mine in this one. So now I'm going to send this and so I want to get a link. And what I'm going to do here is shorten the link. So here's the link I'm going to use. And then you can also send it via email to somebody and you can also get an iframe to embed it but we don't need to do that. We're just going to use this as it is or you could put it in your website if you wanted to. I'm now going to go to QR Codes Australia. So, so here I am at qrcodesaustralia.com.au I'm just going to go to the generator. Once I've gone to the generator I'm just going to go down the page here. I'm going to choose URL and then I'm going to put that URL in that I just copied from the forms and I'm going to just generate it. Now if I scan this QR code it will now go to that form. So I can just click on it and save image as and save it to my site. Then I can print it out on a form, I can email it, I can put it in the window then. Lots of people just print it out and add a little information saying you need to scan this code and fill out your contact information and you know have a contactless sign in form which will save it all in that database for you and if the government requires it for tracing you can just send them that database and you can also break it down into time date etc. So quite often they'll say you know we need your database from last Tuesday to current. So you just filter it out and send it off. My name's Quentin Brown, thanking you for watching this uh, training video.